Yeah, someone ever said that if after 30 days lockdown of government institutions and the government of Nigeria failed to meet the demand of their friends and the Biafran government in exile, release of Mazen Namdekan unconditionally and with immediate effect and recognition of the Biafran Republic and the 40th state of the United States of Biafra. He's going to extend the lockdown to 60 days or possibly 90 days. And they must comply to these directives. Or otherwise, expect whatever they see. Uh, yes, I am Mr. President, you are them. Yes, someone never said so. And if you watch this, this two major two things that meant their France be in log ahead with Nigeria. One, release Nam de Gallo. Two, restoration of Biafra. And if they release Nam de Gallo and restore Biafra, there will be no log ahead. And it was this log ahead that brought lockdown, Monday sit at home, to lockdown of Nigeria institution in Biafra land. Now, another thing came in, making four agendas. Recognizing the geograph geographical location of 40 states of Biafra. And accepting Biafra referendum that you have already conducted. Now, this makes it four. Now, if all this is we are done, then what is need of fighting? There's no need of fighting again. There's no need of being log ahead, log ahead again. If Nigeria accepts this, is, this condition that have come up, the only thing we have to do is to sit down on a rough table and negotiate for diplomatic relationship. As you have said, that all things that are going now, at the end, you still end up in round table talk. When the deceived, so-called deceived Nigerian army have died in Biafra land, then the remaining one will take precaution and say, no, let us come to round table discussion, how these people will go and how we restore our relationship. And if these four ad uh, agendas is implemented by involving Finland government, into it and the other nationalities that can be a signatory or witness into it, then there's no need of telling Nigerian government pull your assets from Biafra if they have any assets because they can have foreign investment or foreign reserve in Biafra because by that time Biafra nation will be booming economically. The people will have their foreign exchange in Biafra land, or, or foreign reserve in Biafra land. But if they fail, after these 30 days, which is one month, without question of time, if they fail to comply, after these 30 days of lockdown, then immediately 60 days will, will follow. 60 days in row. Not to 30, adding to this 30, make it known. 60 days in roll. If Nigeria did not comply, then after it immediately, 90 days in roll will come in. By that time, I think Nigerian government will see in Ketro Biachi. They will see in Ketro Biachi. I see my gamma that time. And if you watch this scene, Someone Epa and the Biafran Republic government in exile, they were taking it diplomatically. They are taking it in a way it will not hurt civilians. Where it will not hurt civilians or common people. But not the way Nigerian government is following. Nigerian government thought everything would be forced. Everything will be forced. Eh? They thought that everything will be manipulating, will force, kill them, suppress them, subdue them, jail them. 
not so. And uh, the way the Biafran are following it, the Biafran government in exile are following it. You know, they flee maturely. Their friends as a people, learned people. They are following it as people who have understanding. Not when you went and pick one illiterate, don't have any certificate. You made him president of your country. Recycling. And the, the people that went to school that know what is called diplomacy move. You put them aside. There are speculations that uh, Mazin and the Kano could be possibly released this month. Uh, do you see the possibility under these current uh, realities? Um, I heard that rumor. But you know, you can't predict Nigerian government. You can't, if, in, in this case, you can't predict them. They may turn tomorrow and say, okay, now we have a new charge. We have a new char charges against him. Um, uh, present whatever, we make it to delay. It's okay. Uh, 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 the, the case have adjoined until uh, April or, or December 2025. They can do it. Why I say you can you cannot predict them? Look at the case in the Carlo one. In two different high courts, in the same Nigeria, they are claiming that has law. After that uh, high court, a peer court of Nigeria, a higher court, still justified that judgment and says it's uphold. In the same Nigeria, so-called Supreme Court came in and canceled the case they have won. I said the case should start afresh. Is it not the letter this? On what basis? Without any basis? Without any judges, without anything. Eh? This is why I say they are not trustworthy. You cannot rely on them. And in other hand, in other hand, it may be a game plan to remove the former attorney general, to bring in new attorney general, to justify the mistake they have done through this new attorney general. Uh, Kudurat, I think so. I think so. Or uh, Simbia, uh, what uh, her name? If you watch the, the scenario now, if it happens so, they are trying to justify or to amend the 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 the, the 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 mistake let me put it like this the injustice they have done to nam the gallo that bring shame to the Nigerian judiciary as a whole they may try to use this new attorney general this woman now to justify it by giving nam the gallo releasing him not discharged and acquitted but giving him bail you understand because I don't see possibility of discharge and acquitted. But they may grant him bail. Go and uh, complete your former bail, which they accept. Now just accept that Namdika did not jump bail. But they, they are the ones that want to kill him and they escape for his life. Yeah, Supreme Court. Yeah. Yeah. They may say, okay, let us release him on bail so that he can have free to justify to accomplish the former bail but you are reporting to abuja every two two days they can do it you'll be reporting to abuja every two two days pending when your case have come to an end and they will not allow the case to come to an end which of that case you know before even the appeal court gave the final judgment that was obtained without that any condition without any viable reason United Nations have written to Nigerian government, giving them ultimatum of 180 days to release Mazin and the canon conditionally and compensate him. So isn't that an overwhelming victory for Mazin and the canon? Which other case would they sustain under which circumstances? After his extraordinary rendition, a crime, an international criminal offense. Uh, I agree with you. That the United Nations give that order. But after giving that order, which action have they taken? Which
which action have United Nations taken against Nigeria by not obeying their order? And Nigeria is a signatory to United Nations to abide in every rule of the United Nations. Which which action have they taken? Which action? No action have they taken. Then what? What if as they did not take any action, then what to hinder Nigeria not to do whatever they want to do? Maybe they are looking and seeing. They want to see the seriousness of uh, Biafra France uh, to the commitment of their freedom. Perhaps uh, Mazen and the Simon by standing up to that demand or occasion. As for the, as for the demand of occasion, our God-given Prime Minister. His Excellency, Samuel Epa, and the Biafran government, Biafran Republic government in exile, have stand to the tax. Men on the ground have stand to the tax. The real Biafrans, citizens, or indigenous people, have stand to the test by, by willingly obeying any order given by, by Biafran Republic government in exile. You understand? Uh -huh. Therefore, but that is the role Biafra is playing. The United Nations, what role have they played? You are there, Nigeria break international law by kidnapping Nam de Gallo. Kenya government is free. Nigeria free. Nobody talk. The, the, the regime that the regime that kidnapped him, a Bwari regime, free. Bwari do not call, call to, to record. Even as I've stepped down as a president of Nigeria, no immunities cover him again. They could have fought him for, 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 for questioning. What did this happen? No persecution, no trial, no questioning, no investigation. Then what do you stop Nigeria not to do whatever they want to do against their France? But thank God, the God of their France is with us. The Chukukuke Abiyama, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. The God of Uri is with us, helping us, fighting the battle for us. You understand? He gives us the courage, the determination, the boldness to face the enemies. If not so, if you fold your hand waiting for another nation, you could be wiped off or be remain in an IGP camp like others in middle bed. But thank God for what he's doing for us. Although it's still, although still, the United Nations still have a role to play, but they are so slow in taking action. They always come in when the head is off the body. That's why they always come in. There are so many wars or so many uh, 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 genocide that are taking place in the world. Which United Nations supposed to stop in time? Not only their front issue. They've not stopped it in time. Until when, when heads are rolled, People died. Graveyard here and there before they will come in. Which is too bad. It's not good.